Hi, in this video I will show you how to work with the full integration of uRender. Currently this feature is only available in the preview version. You can download the preview version here. If you don't have uRender yet, get the trial license and download the preview version to try it. Let's open any kind of scene. In the View Panel menu you see a new uRender menu. Select Start uRender and now the complete scene is loaded on your graphics card and you see the render result directly in the View Panel. Also note the HUD information that uRender is currently running. You can pause the real-time update if needed. Note that the scene is still saved on your graphics card, so if you make any changes and deactivate pause again, only the changes have to be updated. On the bottom you see the currently used resolution for the viewport. You can adjust it in the dashboard. For example, scale 50% means that the uRender view panel renders in half resolution. Of course, you also can use uRender in a different view panel. Just make sure that you activate Use as Render View. If you already have installed uRender in a previous release and dock the uRender toolbar, I recommend to close and dock it again, because we have some new tools. The full integration is really great for many use cases, but if you want to have your separate render view, this is also possible. You also can create a new view panel and set the use as render view option active. But for this case I would recommend the Use Studio tool. Now you render behaves like in previous versions. You get your separate render window and can move it anywhere you like. When the Use Studio button is active, you render starts automatically if it's set correctly in the preferences. Also, the Synic tool is activated automatically, so every change you make in the viewport is synchronized in real time with the uRender Studio render window. You can turn off the Synic button if you don't want uRender to update the scene. Like the pause uRender option in the panel menu, the scene is still loaded on your graphics card, so if you make any changes and activate Synch again, uRender will only need to update these changes. If you switch between rendering to uRender Studio and view panel rendering, you don't need to turn them off, just activate the mode you currently need and the other one will stop automatically. When switching between documents, uRender also will switch to pause mode or deactivate synchronization for the studio. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.